in my last video remember your why i said that i would need to do a vlog of a struggle i had gone through recently It's just, it's a lot mentally. I still struggle just like everyone. It's a daily battle to choose to live a healthy lifestyle. So I believe my last update was day 224 of my one year with Coach Chris Jones. So I was roughly just starting month 8 of 12. And of course, like with any program, I struggled here and there, you know, throughout the 8 months. But in my last video, I believe it was struggle to oh remember your why I said that I would need to do a vlog of you know a struggle I had gone through recently and I was just going to do like a vlog you know me sitting in front of the camera explaining everything but I was like you know what I'll just do a voiceover put it on top of some pictures and some video and and keep it cool you know keep it keep it laid back So basically I started on Monday, August 8th. I went to the dentist to get a cleaning. Something must have irritated my mouth because by the morning of Tuesday, August 9th, my face started swelling a little bit. So I was like, uh, you know what? I'm just going to work from home and see, you know, if the swelling goes down. Tuesday night, you know, the swelling started getting a little bit worse. My throat started getting scratchy. My nose started running. It was, it was... It was interesting. So I went to bed and woke up on Wednesday to get ready for the gym. I look in the mirror and my whole entire face is swollen. Like my whole face terrified me. But I was willing to roll with it. I was just going to call the dentist and say, hey, can you guys, you know, get me in today to see what's going on, you know. The thing that scared me the most as I went to get into the shower was the whole right side of my body, my arm, my shoulder. It was feeling a bit numb. And I wasn't sure if it was related, if it wasn't, you know, I, it just, it bothered me. So I got a little nervous. I said, you know what? I'm not going to play around with this. Let's go to the ER. So yeah, the numbness went from the right side of my forehead all the way down to the right side of my neck down my shoulder, down my arm, and all the way down to my hand. They ran a whole bunch of tests, but as soon as I mentioned about the numbness on my whole right side, they would not let me leave, even though I didn't have any other symptoms. I was immediately put on the stroke list, so that was fun. <laughs> So, long story short, I was in the hospital from August 10th to August 13th. They discharged me on Friday the 13th. The 
The swelling came from a tooth abscess and the numbness came from a bulge in my C5 and C6, which is basically my neck. The bulge wasn't severe enough for surgery, so they let me go. Thank goodness for health insurance. When I got the bill, they charged my health insurance company $70,000 for me to be in the hospital for three days. It's insane. Thankfully or unthankfully, I don't know, I only have to pay like $3,000 out of pocket. So yeah, that was the most expensive dental issue I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Crazily, the antibiotics they gave me in the hospital just was not working. Um, my face, every night it would go down, but every morning it would swell back up. So as soon as I left the hospital, I went to my dentist and I got a Z-Pack. Um, and within a few days, my swelling was all the way down. And I started doing some searching on the internet and I saw a lot of people just went to a chiropractor for that small bulge in the C5 and C6. After about a month, I was back to, you know, normal. I went to the chiropractor probably like twice a week. And so, yeah, everything started sorting out. During that time, though, well, the struggle was real. Now, before I went into the hospital, I was my lowest was 172 pounds. Literally, like the day before I went into the hospital, my lowest weight with Chris Jones was 172. When I got discharged, I checked my weight and I was 168, which is understandable because I barely ate, I wasn't working out, what have you. And not to downplay it at all, but the 168 was the lowest I have ever been in all of my adulthood. Like, it was, it was a pleasant surprise to me, but I knew I got there by not doing what I was told to do since I was in the hospital. So, of course, that played massive games with my brain. You know, this whole fitness thing is it's a mental game. That's all it is. And, um... So from August to September, the struggle was really real because in my mind, I'm like, well, if I do this, then I can stay at this weight. Not even thinking that, you know, if I just do what he says, I will lose the weight the way I want to. But because unfortunately with his coaching, online coaching plan, you have to weigh in every single morning. And that just completely is not good for my personal mentality um and it just really started playing tricks with my brain um I started having binges and then I would get on the scale the next morning and the weight would go lower it was it was insane and I'm like well if I keep doing it this way then my weight will be really low but I wasn't doing what he was telling me to do you know the way he has me losing the weight I'm keeping my curves while still leaning out and keeping my muscle you know, who knows what that, you know, this, the, you know, the bad way that I was doing what it was doing to my body. So I wasn't sure if it was the daily weigh-ins that was messing with my brain or if I was self-sabotaging because I knew I was getting close to my goal. I don't know what it was, but still, even to now in October, I keep going back and forth with, you know, just being tired from the low carb days and then I got to get two workouts in meaning two cardio sessions I lift in the morning then I have cardio after my lifting and then cardio at night and it was just just getting really exhausted I was getting really tired so I just I stopped checking in <laughs> and I, I, it just uh and I'm still working on this like literally right now so I'm just saying all this to vent I had a really good event session on Tuesday night, um, Tuesday that just passed, and it just felt good to just say everything out loud because I've been doing all this in my head since August, you know, so it was really good to get it out of my mouth and hear the words that I was saying. I literally only have two months to go, you know, so I definitely need to just stick it out to make sure that what I'm doing with him is working because it's worked this far. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the daily weigh-ins, they definitely play 
a trick of my brain and I, that is definitely what I'm struggling with with the most like it's at the point where I literally want to be that person that turns around when they're getting weighted and make my boyfriend write down the weigh-ins and then the problem is I can't check it you know what I mean like it can't go on my my fitness pal because I will be able to check it when I have to work or whatever so that is my current struggle so I'm trying to trust the process again the last few months have just been really hard for me one when I wasn't going to the gym two when I was going to the gym and doing the daily check-ins and it's just it's a lot mentally along with a whole bunch of other stuff I have going on in my life it's a lot so um yeah I just want to check in you guys um because you know I struggle also, even though I lost the majority of the weight on my own, I still struggle just like everyone. It's a daily battle to choose to live a healthy lifestyle, but at the same time, you have to live life. You cannot forget to live life, you know? So if you're anything like me, I love wearing my hoodies, my long sleeves, my t-shirts to the gym. But sometimes it leaves behind deodorant stains, stinky, you know, just something that leaves behind. Even after I wash some of my hoodies, they still have a stench to it. I have a great tip for you that is going to absolutely work. You will love it. It's cheap. It's affordable. It's fast. And it doesn't take much to do it. Check it out.